Representatives, as you know, yes. of the ethnic media that serve the South Bay, yes. and we're really thrilled to have you lead us off with uh, an important discussion. We're here at a site that I stood upon uh, only 18 months ago. I'm sorry, my math is bad. 22, 20 months ago, yes, okay. So uh, I last stood here about 20 months ago uh, when we were announcing how we were committing dollars to help residents who were devastated by a flood in this neighborhood. Uh, those were very trying times, we know, for thousands of families in our community. And while we have strived, striven with many community partners to enable folks to get back on their feet. We recognize uh, that there were lessons to be learned. Most critical lessons about preparation and about investment that we need to make in order to keep our community safe. Our failure to invest, collect uh, in flood infrastructure, flood protection, uh, in emergency response infrastructure. Uh, our residents paid the price for that. And I want to ensure that our residents never again pay the price for our lack of investment in those floods to try to help families get back on their feet. I'm grateful for his support. With many volunteers. Yes, with many volunteers. I'm grateful for his support, and I know that you may wish to say a few words shortly. But we're here because we know these investments will critically help our community be safer. Uh, it will also help us maintain the critical infrastructure we have neglected for decades everything from our streets and roads to our fire stations. Uh, with regard to flood protection, there are particular elements of this measure that will be uniquely relevant. Excuse me. Word of prompted to move. Uh, we need firefighters to be ready to be able to help our community and not struggling with the poor condition of their own facilities and getting trucks out to get to people in time. And what I think is really a monumental investment, uh, we are telling voters that we will commit up to $50 million to buy land in the Coyote Valley. Uh, why is this so critically important? Because we know there was the Coyote Creek that flooded that caused so much devastation in our community. We know that water comes from the Anderson Dam. It was the spillover of the Anderson Dam that caused the inundation in many of our neighborhoods. Uh, and we need to critically find a way to divert that water and store it before it gets into our neighborhoods and our dense areas of our city. Coyote Valley offers an opportunity for us to be able to retain water that is spilling over from Anderson, uh, inundating Coyote Creek, and keeping it in a preserved area away from development, away from people. So this is an opportunity certainly to invest in our safety, but also to invest in our future, to allow our children to make good decisions with our resources rather than making those decisions for them. And so uh, I'm proud to stand with many community partners uh, in this effort, and I wanted to introduce a couple at this time. I know our chief uh, of, uh, our fire chief may be here in a, in a moment, uh, Robert Sepian, you probably see him in lots of videos that we're putting up these days to promote this effort. Uh, but I would like to first start uh, with Ms. Min, uh, Ms. Min Nakdo. Ms. Min, thank you so much for being here. Come on, thank you for, for being part of this uh, announcement. Um, I understand that you had uh, managed to pull yourself uh, and your family together after the floods. We're grateful for your perseverance. Come uh, on, and thank you for joining us and speaking out for Measure T. Uh, my name is uh, Min Ngoc Do. I am a resident of District 7. Uh, I have uh, many friends who live here in the Rock Springs neighborhood. I visited my friends here in February of 2017 when Coyote Creek flooded and um, their home was damaged 
and their belongings were destroyed. We spent weeks cleaning up the mud and my friend lost everything in the flood. We worked very hard to make our lives here and experiencing the flood and the loss was very hard for us. So we cannot tolerate another flood. This is why we support the city of San Jose and Measure T. The things in Measure T that would help reduce the risk of future floods. So uh, please join me in voting yes on Measure T. Oh, you know, we're a variety of contributing factors to that. There was the rains, there was Anderson Dam, as the, as the mayor mentioned. But one thing that we know can help reduce the flooding is if we can keep the water upstream, which is south of San Jose, so that it doesn't come down and overflow into the neighborhoods. And the most cost-effective way to do that is to preserve our natural floodplains and not let them get developed um, and get covered with asphalt and concrete, which means that the soil can't absorb water. And we can even enhance the soil by planting the kind of vegetation that helps it to absorb even more water. And this actually has a double benefit because then it helps us to recharge our drinking water aquifer. Um, the, the recharge is more efficient when you have more uh, soils that can absorb water. And um, we're making sure that we don't have development there, which, which increases uh, pollution into the stormwater, can keep that water source uh, cleaner. And basically it benefits us in all kinds of ways. Um, not to mention even that uh, Coyote Valley, which is where uh, you know, this natural floodplain is, is such an important wildlife corridor and uh, is, is, is farmland and is a wonderful re area for recreation. So it's really important for, for people and animals and nature. And it's a one, this is a wonderful example of how a little bit of investment can really bring a lot of benefits down the road. Not only that I'm honored and I'm touched because not only the community suffer a lot, but then the whole city suffer. And then out of that, we have a very caring community. The mayor, not only that he's aware, but he actually uh, rolled up his sleeve and his foot into this mud, into the slush, into the, the broken homes that we rebuilt for the past 20 years. But what comes next is a very smart way of helping prevent the future. Uh, uh, about a year ago, the water board helped build the dike, but that's only half the other uh, measure. The other measure is reduce water, so this is measure T. So not only is it help, this particular flood area, the zone, the people, but it have the whole uh, environment, the whole region. So that's why I'm saying not only the good uh, measure, good but very, good kind heart, but very smart. On that note, I'm honored and deeply honored and touched to welcome the mayor, everybody. Everybody you see here, most people are here are for the community. So it it's truly mean a lot from their heart. Therefore, I, on that note, thank you and congratulate on, on your great measure. And a lot of good people, I, uh, Sandy, we know her for 30 years, I worked in the media to help the, the, the community. So therefore, on that note, I'm humbly, thank you, and uh, welcome all, and we're looking forward for victory on that day and in the future. Thank you. First city in California to make a natural investment, a natural infrastructure part of its bond measure, and why, why San Jose? Yeah. How did that happen? Um, well, why San Jose? I mean, San Jose is really has been taking a whole lot of steps in the recent years um, in order to be more um, uh, climate change aware and more environmentally friendly. I'm sure you're aware that you know we just had uh, um, the uh, summit, uh, the climate summit in San Francisco, and um, you know we had a whole uh, tour of Coyote Valley here, which was sponsored by the Open Space Authority, where. Uh, We've brought a lot of um, state and, and international even leaders um, to see what we're doing in Coyote Valley. So San Jose is really at the forefront of this kind of thinking. Um, I don't know the exact answer to your question if you're saying is San Jose the first to do this in a bond measure because I'm not I'm not familiar with all of the bond measures around in, in all the cities. Do you happen to know anything about that? Or So uh, to our knowledge, yeah, in California this is the first instance of yeah. putting natural infrastructure funding into a bond measure. We are aware that just one year ago in Houston, which had a disastrous flooding event, 
uh, about a year ago, uh, they passed a two and a half billion dollar infrastructure bond that included over two hundred million dollars for protection of the natural floodplain. So, we're, we're elsewhere in the yeah, country, waking up yes. to what watershed means. Yeah. Right. And you know, and it's better to get it done before you have a disaster like what Houston had, right? Right. Rather so, than you know. There was another question which I was going to ask the mayor, but maybe you could answer. One of our media asked me, who is the opposition to Measure T? Where are there uh, anti-Measure T ads showing up? Are there, is there a sort of effort against Measure T?